Happy Sunday guys and welcome back to my channel. Today doing a speed build for my dine out family for the Tharps and I have a couple requirements. First of all, the house needs to be four bedrooms, three baths. Has to have a chef's kitchen because we're talking about Ashley here. Has to be one floor because we're going to have a baby, a toddler and they only have about 42,000 right now that they can work with and I'd love for their backyard to have a potential to add a pool later and I don't want to use any custom content because I would like to share with you guys just in case and sometimes it's hard when you add custom content. So anyway, let's get started. I started with a 20 by 30 lot. The lot cost me 2,000 simoleons so I have to factor that in when you're talking about the cost. And my goal for making this house was to make it like a builder grade house, if that makes any sense. Meaning that when you go buy a brand spanking new construction house, it won't have all the furniture and stuff in it. It'll have the basics, the kitchen, the bathrooms, everything else you come in with your own stuff. So ideally, even though the family has about 42,000, that's um, including the, the value of the house that they're in right now and the money that they have in their pocket, like the equity and everything, that's not including the furnishings and stuff inside the house. So ideally, I would like for them to pack up all of their furniture and things of that nature and just be able to move it into this house and kind of just like make it their own. I was more concerned about just making them have like a larger house, if that makes any sense, versus um, like having like something super duper fancy. Of course, Braylon is kind of a little snobby type guy. He wants to live in a very snazzy, very nice house. But, you know, they got to crawl before they can walk. I mean, they just got married and boom, as soon as she found out she was pregnant during their wedding during their actual wedding ceremony so you know we got to crawl before we could walk and basically that's what it is I had to uh yeah I'm gonna be honest with y'all it was the hardest thing I feel like in order to like work normally when I build I just build and then I just be like I'll worry about the price tag later but with this particular situation I actually made um a realtor and a construction foreman they're actually at the site of the house right now you see them outside the house and i just gave them literally forty thousand to work with so i didn't even have to worry about going over going under i knew exactly what we were working with the entire time so i put the little cheat in the in the code in the cheat box and i just put money and i put forty thousand, and that's what we had i think right now the family has a little bit over forty two thousand, so that gives them a little bit of room to kind of go in and and change little stuff or add landscaping because even landscaping is super expensive so one of the major things I wanted to focus on is right now I'm just sitting there trying to just work out the floor plan. I find that when I need inspiration for layouts of houses, the easiest thing to do is to actually look at real blueprints online like no kidding i found this blueprint that's very similar and more so inspired me for what i ended up doing um for the the layout it's like a split floor plan it's super open as soon as you walk in it's just like living room a little sitting area um a huge big old kitchen with a with a uh, with a with a bar <laughs> and like a little breakfast not a more like a casual dining area not anything that's super uh, major and honestly Ashley and their family they're, they're used to casual dining areas like in their house now they have like a little three tape three person table type situation so I wasn't concerned about letting them have like this big old huge dining room I mean you guys know anyway when it comes to the sims they don't sit at dining they don't do anything traditional they grab a plate and they go sit wherever they stand in front of the refrigerator they sit in front of the tv uh, they go sit on the t on their on their bed <laughs> so nobody actually really uses the dining room so i was more focused on just making sure we had enough space for everybody and that everything flowed uh, very nicely so um I kind of dealt with, I think the most thing that I spent, which we're going to see in a second, the most money on would probably be the, um, the kitchen, which you'll see in a second. I think I splurged the most there. I wanted her to have like a very spacious, very nice, what you would consider chef's kitchen because I was more concerned about her being able to develop her skills. I mean, right now she's like at a level 10 cooking, I think, but I still wanted her to have like a good, I mean, she's a, she's a restaurant owner. She might want to sit in the kitchen and cook up some ideas for meals to add to the menu or something like that you just never know so anyway so long story short right now i'm just kind of adding just some lights to kind of see what i could deal with honestly y'all i did not want that to be the final lights that we used but because of the money situation it ended up being the final lights that we used but i like i said i they're gonna have a little bit of extra money to play around with and as they grow and uh, make money at the restaurant or you know whatever they chose to choose to do 
they can go in here and upgrade as necessary. This is just like a real nice starter home just for them to kind of come in and start their life together. So here I'm just starting the construction of the kitchen. I kind of played around with the cabinets for a little bit because I wanted one. Then I was like, no, I really want these nice ones. So I ended up changing them later on. But as you can see, it's going to have like a U-shape um, feel to it. And that wall, that's like the hallway that's leading to the other bedrooms and another bathroom. So you're gonna see that in a second, but I love how the kitchen came out. Honestly, it's so simple, but it works. Like when you see this, like the, the whole overall just feel and flow of it, to me, it just feels like a real kitchen. Like, I, I think it just came out really, really nice. Um, tried to give her like a really nice stove. Like I said, we, we splurged on the kitchen. The kitchen is like the nicest, um, grade of material let's put it that way that that we could have gotten with this particular uh, situation so anyway just kind of playing around with the um, the the uh, the the construction I guess you could say or the layout of it definitely wanted to put like a nice refrigerator in there and then I realized you know what I need to make like a wall to kind of like house that refrigerator because if you're sitting in that little casual dining area the last thing you want to do is look at a wall I mean look at your refrigerator so then I ended up realizing I needed a larger space for the for the dining, for the casual dining area. And eventually that door, it's gonna be a door right next to that little area right there. That's gonna lead out to the um, to the patio, which as of right now, which you guys will see once we get to the, the backyard area, it's there's nothing back there. But like I said, I really wanted them to be able to upgrade maybe later on and get a pool because I understand that Braylon is very fit and um, it's something that's important to him to be able to be fit and just stay active. And I think especially um, I'm contemplating since it's about to get warm. We're in March right now in Alaska. It's not getting warm, but you know, ideally we're coming upon spring and summer. I'm kind of tempted to get the backyard stuff pack, the one with the slides and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I need to make sure that whatever lot I got and just the, the possibility of them getting a nice pool, um, you know, they could be able to do that. So anyway, playing around with front doors, and it's so hard for me sometimes to get like a really good feeling front door. I love two door front doors, but they are the most awkwardest things to place, especially if you want them like center in something. So anyway, here's the little seating area I was talking about. I really wanted to have them have a fireplace. I mean, realistically, I don't even know if it's something that is absolutely necessary. And when you're thinking about a house construction, but I like the ambiance that it gives and they can kind of sit there at the fireplace and kind of read or whatever. Um, you know, the, the feel I get from Braylon is he's very intellectual, very, um, I don't know, just likes the finer things in life. So I kind of feel like, of course, he'd want a fireplace in his house and he'd want like a little seating area. So my plan, hopefully to do that is to make it like a little study area, maybe put like a computer desk over there, put a bookshelf, put little two chairs and just, you know, let them sit over there and just kind of like lounge. It'll be a little bit separate from the open living room. The only thing that bothers me about this floor plan, which when I saw it in online, I was like, man, you walk in and boom, you're straight in the living room. So, you know, it might be something later on that we'll kind of tweak and play around with. Maybe I'd want like a formal entryway. But as of right now, that's what we got. So anyway, I really wanted them to have like a closet. I love the idea of putting closets in my houses. But I mean, A, they're expensive. And B, they got like the weirdest like, you know, function or whatever. But and it's funny because when you think about it, it's like you really don't need a closet in The Sims. You just like modifying cast. But the idea just for the view of it, I just think it looks really, really nice. So we ended up do putting a closet in there. But then I felt like trying to match cabinets with the closet. You want the doors to match and everything like that. It was the hard to do so since all the doors were white and if you're familiar with buying brand spanking new constructed homes most of the times if the closet I mean if the the hallway doors and the doors to your rooms are white your closets are gonna be white your your window seals are gonna be white everything's gonna be white so I ended up just going and going for white which you'll see later on and then here I'm just kind of tweaking the construction of the uh, master bath I wanted them to have like a very nice getaway like a retreat so to speak and even though it's not like the best shape or even like the largest size I really wanted them to have a tub and a shower and I wanted them to have that luxurious jet tub the one that they had at their honeymoon they enjoyed that thing like thoroughly so I definitely want to do that and I love the idea of having like a toilet room but eventually I realized the shape and everything of this of this bathroom is not going to work the way I had it. So I'm going to tweak it later. But as of right now, you guys can see like my thought processes of it. I was just kind of like that closet, though, even though I liked it, it was like the weirdest thing to, to, to kind of figure it out. And I didn't want to put it in their main bedroom. I wanted it in their bathroom. And the funny thing is, 
and my last house and i want to even say yeah my my last two houses in houston our closet was in our master bath which to me made so much sense because you get out the shower you get dressed you brush your teeth you get dressed you wash your face you get dressed it's like everything is like right there so and even in the floor plan for this particular house which you, if you guys are interested i can show you the floor plan but even the floor plan for this particular house had the bathroom in the closet. So, I mean, sorry, had the closet in the bathroom. So I really wanted to put the closet. I was like dead set on putting the closet in the bathroom. So I was like, I just got to make it work some kind of way. Um, then I kind of wanted to have the shower, the, the bathtub be kind of cat a corner to it. But then I realized it just wasn't going to work. So I just scooshed it back in that corner, which was perfect because then I could put our little toilet room right there. And I like doing toilet rooms. I don't know if you guys notice when you play, if you have like a toilet room or a designated toilet area. When your Sims, even though Braylon and Ashley are so comfortable with each other, if you've been watching that series, he'll walk in on her, she'll walk in on him and it won't be a thing. But some of my Sims, they act like they're so embarrassed when they walk in on somebody using the bathroom. But if someone's in that actual toilet room, like in that little area, they're not gonna care. They can come in and somebody can be taking a shower and somebody could be brushing their teeth or somebody could be washing their face or somebody could be taking a bath or someone could be changing the closet and they won't care that someone's in the bathroom. So even though it's not ideal to like follow them in that little small space, you auto, what's it called? Auto solve their little, you know, press the little bladder situation and they'll just go to the bathroom. So it's not a big of a deal. I'm not worried about it for like, I just wanted it to be able to be functional. Sometimes when I'm building, I worry about being able to scooch in corners and get good views. But every once in a while, I'm just kind of like, eh, they're using the bathroom. I don't need to see y'all using the bathroom. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I really wanted to do his and her sinks, but I don't know. Later on, I might add another sink. But, you know, it's more so for aesthetics because they don't really like go to the sink and like, this is my sink. Not like in real life, like me and my husband were like, this is my sink, that's your sink, you know? But, um, you know, with Sims, they just use the sink. So then it was kind of like, eh, I don't need to have like, <laughs> this is so funny how I like change my mind on everything like all the time. So as of right now, there's just one sink in there, but at least there'll be some area for clutter, you know, cause clutter always makes a bathroom look a little bit more realistic. So definitely have room for clutter and they could just add like towels or anything like that. So here I am just trying to reshape some of the bath, the bedrooms i tried to do five squares but i think it was five by four um for the bedrooms and the way i came up with that is i later on you'll probably see me actually place a bed just to like double check because really with the bedroom situation uh, the only room that really needs to be like super huge and luxurious i feel like is the master bedroom for the kids i'm just kind of like eh. um they get a bed like the toddler uh he she whoever it'll be um you know they'll have a room with some toys they'll probably just have like a little twin size bed a little taller bed nothing major um dante he'll still be staying in the house so as long as he has a bed and maybe like a dresser and a mirror um you know i just feel like it doesn't have to be anything super elaborate so i try to keep all the bedrooms the same size i don't know why i'm like an equal opportunist when it comes to bedroom sizes like i feel like all my sims just to be equal and even besides the parents who's like making the money and like bringing the bread home or what have you um i just like the rooms to be the same so we don't have to worry about who has the bigger room and we're just gonna make it work you know based on what they have so in this particular okay one bathroom i just did a shower and a sink and a toilet and in this bathroom i decided to do a shower a tub and then the whole you know sink and bathtub and all that i mean the toilet and stuff like that because i know with the toddler we're gonna need like a good bathtub in order to give the to toddler a um a bath and that one shower that with the sliding door i ended up changing it out later anyway because we needed the extra money but the one that i used in that other bathroom i felt like it was just more like a quickie bathroom like you know like kind of small this one is a little bit bigger so you had that little push out you could put the shower over there um there i go again with my little <laughs> toilet room area but um i'm gonna change that all out anyway because you know when you're building you start looking at stuff and you're like wait that's not gonna work this isn't gonna work that's not gonna work so yeah just kept tweaking it and things of that nature it was so funny though because it was like the hardest thing trying to like like you know you have a floor plan in mind and then all of a sudden it's like i mean it's one thing to deal with a budget right but then to deal with like a certain shape or a certain floor plan or layout and then try to fit everything that you need into it i mean i liked doing it this way but it was definitely a challenge because you know but after i committed to like the floor plan that i wanted to use in the shape i was just kind of like okay i just gotta make it work i just gotta make it work at this point and so um that's what i'm doing right there so there's like a little toilet designated toilet area but it's not going to be closed in like the other one 
So here I am just trying to like tweak the cabinets and stuff. I end up trying to do like this little L-shaped thing, end up moving. Yeah, you'll see in a minute. I'm going to be all over the place because it's just, I just couldn't figure out how I wanted it to look, but I know I wanted. Okay, so when I'm thinking about like building an actual home and actually doing like something like this, I really wanted to use like cabinets for the sinks instead of just doing like a pedestal sink type situation. And in all of my houses, I mean, like this is going to be like loosely based on, you know, how our houses, you know, we've lived in a lot of houses because we moved a lot and three out of the four of them were brand spanking new homes. So <laughs> we've been kind of lucky when it comes to that. But um, long story short, I like the the feel of actual cabinets as opposed to just like a pedestal sink. And, you know, because I don't know, I just like the feel of it. It looks more like a realistic type home situation so um i uh, ended up i don't know why i went down to go through the stairs right there but ended up trying to play around putting windows i think i realized at this point you guys can't see the money right now but um at least well you'll be able to see it once i edit the the thing it's like cut off for me right now but i realized that I, my money was getting kind of short and i was like you know what we're gonna need windows and paint and stuff like that so let me start placing windows so i can kind of figure out how much money realistically we have I, with my hardest, my most challenging part of building a house is the exterior. I mean, inside all day long, I can decorate. I feel comfortable with what I've done. But when it comes to placing the windows and just like making sense, I think I'm too much in my head because I'll be like, well, I don't want a window in this room because this is in the way. Or, you know, if you have your double cabinets in your kitchen and you don't want to put a window, you know, behind a cabinet or something like that, it just gets to the point where I'm just kind of like, like trying to tweak like windows and you know, you want the outside to look right, but then you want the inside to make sense with windows. So I always find it so difficult to do that. So anyway, here I am just kind of like rejigging the lights a little bit. Um, as of right now, since there's no furniture or anything in this house besides just like the builder grade stuff, I, the light situation might end up being um, a situation. Cause of course, once we started running out of money, I ended up deleting lights. So of course, looking at the lights now, um, I feel like I got good light coverage, but of course, once you <laughs> once you really get into it. So then I really started running out of money because then I was like, I want a fireplace in the back in the master bedroom too. Yeah, tell me that's not crazy, but we end up putting a fireplace in the master bedroom. But I'm going to um, change those out to the cheaper versions later on because like I said, we was running out of money. And um, yeah, one thing we didn't get a chance to do either with this build was put exterior lights. So that's something that Braylon's gonna have to put his handyman belt on later on and do that. Yeah, he's gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to put your handyman belt on, uh, Braylon. Yeah. Anyway, um, so here I am trying to put like some decorative lights in some places because I felt like the common areas, especially the entryway, the casual dining area, the the family room, I feel like they should have more um, like fancy lights. But then them fancy lights was too expensive y'all so i ended up getting rid of them so <laughs> like i said when you're working with a budget you make cuts that's why the construction workers out there like no their budget was forty thousand. get them lights out of here so yeah anyway <laughs> i wanted to do wood floors because i think wood floors are so elegant so you know no matter the cost i felt like wood floors were going to be the thing and then i end up doing a tile in the kitchen and then carpet in the bedrooms here i am right now changing out my um I don't know why I switched over to my desktop, but here I am right now changing out the fireplaces. And now I'm about to work on the floor for the kitchen. And you know what? Honestly, when I went to go take screenshots, y'all, I ended up changing that floor. I really liked it originally, but then when I looked at it some more, I was like, eh, it's not, it's not blending enough. You know, I think I did the same thing in this room too. I, I went for a tile, but then I ended up changing it to a linoleum. Again, if Braylon wants to up it later on, that could be something that they can um do changes on later on you know and that's really what happens in real life you get like a shell of a house then when you say i don't want this floor no more that's what we did when we first got in this house that we're in now we came in the floor was so scratched up and scuffed up and it was almost like someone had took their dog's claws and just like ran them down it was ridiculous like anyway i know i don't know what the previous owners situation was i know she had dogs i guess that's why i'm using the term of the, the situation about dogs clawing their hands and their their paws in it but um we ended up having to change out the wood floor we, we did so much when we moved into this house changing out stuff so saying all that to say that there's a possibility you're getting here and you'll be like i don't want this i don't need this and then you'll just change out stuff so i'm making it like you know what this is the house as of right now you go you guys can go in upgrade showers later on upgrade sinks you know just do whatever you want to do 
but this is your house just as long as like i said they had space and so i ended up changing out that shower like i said i ended up going for more of a um cheaper version i like the shower tubs combos because it gives your sims an opportunity to do either or um I thought about it after the fact, if I was concerned about space in that room, the easiest thing probably would have been to just do like a standing stall shower. But anyway, it's cool because just in case, you know, somebody wants to take a bath in one and then the toddler has to take a shower, a bath or whatever in one, it, sh it should work out pretty well. So anyway, exterior paint, oh, I'm telling y'all, I had the hardest time. So what you're gonna see is not gonna even end up being the final because after I finished recording, I kept looking at it. I like came, left and came back. And a lot of times I build like that. I'll look at it and then I'll walk away and then I'll come back and I'll see something totally different. So I ended up doing that later on. I'm gonna just go do like a regular stucco type look. And for some reason gray was in my head. I don't know why, but I was stuck on gray. I was like, I want it to be gray. I think originally I wanted gray brick, but it didn't look right. So I ended up just doing like a great, 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 <laughs> a gray stucco type situation. So anyway, later on you'll see um, during the screenshot situation that I changed that out. And I think it looked fairly well towards the end. I think it did. Um, so here I am just kind of mess with the porch area when they first come up. Um, I don't know. I, I like the porch. Of course, this is like how the floor plan looked on the website that I found the floor plan on. So I wanted to stick with it because I felt like it looked so nice. And then it gives you an opportunity to do like different gable roofs and stuff, which you'll see later on. Um, so I wanted to do that. And then I kind of thought about maybe I'll make the front like a stone. You know, some of those fancy houses will have like a front stone area and then the sides would be like siding and stuff, but I could just never get it together. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, not doing custom content because lately when I've been doing, like even the last build, the, the last successful build I did, let's put it that way, because some of my builds I'm just kind of like, oh, that was a bust. But my last successful one that I did was um, for, for my uh, Get to Work series and it was a warehouse that was uh, revamped into a home a loft rather and it was for hunter and that exterior was um custom content and i loved it um so i was gonna say like to me it's just so hard like not using custom content because sometimes they just don't have exactly what you're looking for so i felt like a custom content brick or stone would have probably looked so much nicer um but you know it is what it is like i said they can go in later on and make changes um so here I'm just trying to do the little backyard patio area, like I said, before we ran out of money <laughs> because I want them to be able to eventually, especially with a little baby on the way. And honestly, they might have another baby too. Like Braylon doesn't have any kids. So here I am just kind of like planning, like, can I put a pool back there? They can't afford one right now. It's going to cost them probably like mm, about $2,000 to put a pool back there, like the type that I just had did. Um, so they got some wild, like if they liquidated the business account, they probably could, but it's not priority right now since technically it's still chilly in the game it's just early spring I guess you could say in the game right now um, so of course when you have an open patio like that you need to put some railings up for little people so they won't fall over so I'm not very very happy with the railings I might change them out later and maybe do like a wrought iron type look but like I said it just got to the point where we were running out of money and I was just like I gotta prioritize some things and get these things done so um, you know I just went with what we had so um, here just kind of working on the roof situation. I always have the hardest time with roofs I don't know why but then I discovered what you're about to see now you can drag that 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 gable roof right there I think that's what it's called and you could drag it all the way to the back and it'll extend in the back and give it like a whole different look And when I did that I was like hey We's winning right now. So I loved how that looked then I was like, okay this is my forte so i don't know roofs and me and just we're, we're still learning <laughs> we're still getting acquainted say that like that but um then i realized too with the way that they were looking i needed to put some windows or something right there just to kind of make it look a little bit more not blank not like boring like you know you want your interior to look just as good as your exterior you know especially because you want curb appeal so definitely was kind of like i need to put some windows or something up there just so we could have something going on so that's what I ended up doing, putting some little windows and stuff up there. Um, later on though, when I go to change the exterior, I make that front piece stone and everything around it is going to be um, like the stucco. So I ended up having to change the roof and do two of those roofs back to back because whatever you do in the front part of the roof is gonna be on the back part of the roof. So if you don't want the stone in the back, you have to do a whole separate roof, which I wish I would have showed that 
during the screen um during the the, the build but i didn't because um like i said it was one of those afterthoughts like after i finished recording and i came back and looked at it i was just like nah but um so here i am and then the same thing with the strawberry which you guys will see in a second i did the same thing with the strawberry i was like in the middle of finishing up and then i was just kind of like nah i don't like how it looks <laughs> so i ended up changing that out too so um long story short y'all yeah, that's basically what happened i was trying to go with some some cheaper shrubberies we went with the granite falls type shrubbery and i just sized them up then afterwards i realized they look cheap they look like cheap shrubbery they did they look like cheap shrubbery but um you i needed something in the front because it just looks so bland right now like i said it's definitely going to be a fixer up but now i'm looking at it now it's not that bad you know hindsight hindsight yeah i changed out the mailbox because who wants that trashy mailbox that trashy aluminum like if somebody hits it with a bat it's gonna dent in it's just gonna dent um end up changing the wallpaper because i felt like it was a little too dark my plan is though honestly once we designate whose room is for who we'll probably do something more specific to that kid like if it's the toddlers i'll probably do something whimsical and cute in the room for audrina's room since she just aged up and oh my gosh guys i gave her a makeover she is gorgeous wait till you guys see her next thursday oh my gosh i was so surprised like ashley is beautiful but audrina oh, she'll give ashley a run for her money not kidding you anyway so now that she's in a teenager you know she might want to have a specific theme in her room or something like that so long story short i decided that i would just uh just rock with that you know just like a neutral color throughout and really when you buy a house that's a brand new construction that's what you're going to get a neutral color throughout and then you go in with your paintbrush and you paint that room whatever color you want to paint it that way everybody can have their own little special colors but the main rooms are going to be one color so i really like the idea in the kitchen of doing like an accent wall but more so something that kind of looks like a tiled backsplash so here i'm just kind of trying to play with the colors and play with stuff that kind of like melds into what we have already and then also i need to finalize some things with the um with the back door area and then i'm just kind of like always circle and just kind of make sure everything's okay and the money situation was horrible i ended up adding some more windows because i was like i guess i could put some windows in these bathrooms but i think eventually i ended up taking some away uh, i love a lot of windows like in real life and in my games but you know when you run out of money you run out of money so just playing around with the bushes because the bushes kind of went into the house and all that good stuff but anyway about to get ready to wrap it up a bit i think um so stay tuned for the screenshots let me know what you guys think if there's anything that you would have done differently or any suggestions on how to save money when you're building i mean they have a big family right now they're about to be a family of five um you got three kids even though one of the kids is an adult um, we still have to make accommodations for him until he moves out. And even when he moves out, they might have another baby. So you got a four bedroom, three bath, chef's kitchen, um, room for, um, that's what I mean right now, checking out the bedroom situation. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, and then you got room to grow in the backyard on a nice sized lot that has like a walking trail and stuff behind it. So I think it came out really, really cute. Um, so anyway gonna zoom in and kind of check it out i love how the backsplash and everything came out it's just it came out really really pretty so anyway long story short i am done hopefully you guys enjoy like i said let me know what you think in the comment box down below if you haven't already please subscribe yeah you know i'm doing really good with subscribers right now so join the crew and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye